Well, awesome. This is a first look at Boom Studios' Dune House Atreides number one. We've got six images here for the preview art, and this looks really good. This comes from Go Collect. Press release as follows. Boom Studios today revealed a new look at Dune House Atreides number one. The series premiere of a 12-issue Dune House Atreides comic series arriving in stores October 2020. This will be adapted and scripted by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, who co-wrote the prequel novel based on Frank Herbert's notes and illustrated by artist Dev Premenick, who did Paradiso, and colorist Alex Humeris in partnership with Herbert Properties LLC and in coordination with Abrams Comic Arts, who are publishing in the fall the first of three graphic novel adaptations of Herbert's original classic novel, Dune. Oh, that sounds really cool. I will tell you, I only have one disappointment, so to speak, about this series. You know, my very favorite part of the Dune series was when uh, Paul Atreides and, and, and his kids, you know, begin showing their powers, so to speak, once they be, be, became evolved and started changing and started becoming one with the planet, with the worms. That's what really appealed to me about this series. Now, we're not going to see, well, hey, we may see some sort of special powers come out with someone else, uh, but we're not definitely going to see that with uh, Paul, of course, because this is <laughs> this is about Leto, and um, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's a, it's literally a, a a prequel. So it continues and says, you know, this set in the years leading up to the Hugo and Nebula award-winning Dune, which inspired the upcoming feature film uh, from Legendary Pictures, Dune House Atreides. It transports readers to the far future on the desert planet Arrakis, where Pardot Nyes seeks its ecological secrets in remote, desolate regions of the alien world. Meanwhile... A violent coup is planned by Shaddam Corino, the son of Emperor Elrud. Far away, an eight-year-old slave, Duncan Idaho, seeks to escape his cruel masters, and a young man named Leto Atreides begins a fateful journey. These unlikely souls are drawn together first as renegades, and then as something more as they discover their true fate to change the very shape of history. Created by visionary writer Frank Herbert, Dune debuted in 1965, has sold millions of copies, and is arguably the most admired science fiction novel of all time. After winning the Hugo Award and the Nebula Award, Dune inspired a best-selling novel series and led to multiple live-actions adaptations, including the upcoming feature film from Legendary Pictures. The influence of Dune extends well beyond the world of entertainment, with incalculable influence on modern scientific thinking about politics, religion, outer space, environmentalism, and more. It continues to go on and talk about the incredible series that are launching from Boom that have been going on for quite a while. Some of my favorite titles, Once in Future by Kieran Gillen and Dan Mora, Something is Killing the Children by James Tynan and Werther Deladera, are just among the many mentioned here. I'll tell you, Boom has some fantastic properties now, and they're just going to continue to become more and more popular as they have a incredible writing and artist staff uh, on board with them, working with them. Um, again, you know, I've just kind of cycled through these fantastic images from this art here uh, for Dune House Atreides. I am absolutely looking forward to this book. You know, like I said, one of my favorite things about this series is absolutely the, the special powers that were gained, the, the mystical uh, delving into how they get these powers through meditation and beyond. I will say this, uh, I really, really enjoyed Kevin J. Anderson's uh, book, uh, co-authored by Kevin J. Anderson. It was Clockwork Angels, which was actually written by uh, Neil Peart from Rush, based upon the album's lyrics, um, 
Clockwork Angels. It, it was really cool. I really like it when bands do this kind of thing. I've only seen Rush and Coheed and Cambria do this, write huge stories, you know, talking about all of the lyrics from their music for a whole album, you know. Rush put out an album, you know, Clockwork Angels, and then very soon after released, and this was, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, maybe six years ago, something like that. And then they released the book by Neil Peart and Kevin J. Anderson, and the stories just coincided. The same thing that Coheed and Cambria does with all of their music, uh, you know, the lead singer writes, The Amory Wars. Pretty cool concepts to mix music and, uh, you know, comic books or books in this case. So what do you think? Are you going to be checking out Dune House of Trades? Are you a big fan of the Dune franchise? I am looking forward to the movie. I'm definitely going to check it out. I, I will at least pick up issue number one and do a review on it. I'd like to uh, talk about as many of these boom books as possible. They're one of my favorite publishers in comics right now. Love to hear what you think. Uh, drop a comment below. Uh, you know, tell me what you think about uh, me or... <laughs> or my videos or, or or this series. Do you like it? Support your local comic shop. You're the gateway into comics. <laughs> <laughs>